Hello and welcome. My name is Kitcraft, and I know why you've clicked on this video because you're curious about this adorable little thing. This is the exclusive secret mission Mew card. I'm going to show you how to get it. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to go through an amazing little journey. We're going to hold on the card, and it's going to create a little video that we can watch. It's one of the animation cards. So you see Mew just kind of scooting across. There's a bunch of like other little Pokemon. It's very animated. It's adorable. It's Magikarp, Metapod, Voltorb, an adorable Snorlax, and a Ditto, some Pharaoh, an Abra. Cool. A trio. It's a Ghastly. Boom. Got it. And then it's going to slowly just go back inside of the frame. So, an amazing card to have. I'll be honest, it doesn't really have too, too much um, battle worth, in my opinion. Um, it has 60 health, it's a psychic type, um, it's basic, you can play it right away. Uh, it has a Psy Report attack, needs one energy, psychic energy, it does 20 damage, and your opponent re reveals their hand, just like the hand scope item. Um, it does take 20 extra damage from darkness types, and is a 3 star rarity. Uh, also, it's kind of nice, uh, the little lore on it. Because it can use all types of moves, many scientists believe Mew to be the ancestor of Pokemon. So, definitely a very cool, like, lore card. And this is the only way to get it. I'm gonna break that down to you right now. So, in the... themed collections... There is a secret mission available... Yeah, so you actually can't see this right now until you complete it. But because I've completed it, I have it. I'm gonna click on that. What you need to do is you need to complete the Kanto Pokedex. You need to get the first 150 Pokemon um, in any card variant. So if you don't have, like, the regular Bulbasaur, you have, like, the shiny one, then that also counts. Or if you don't have this beautiful shiny one, and you have... Actually, I think I can look at... Yeah, and if you have this one, that also counts. You just need a variant of that Pokemon, the first 150. So if you look, it has the Bulbasaur, the Charmander, the Squirtle, Evolution Chain, then it goes right into Caterpie. If you've played, like, the old games, this is very nostalgic, which I personally love. Um, so you'll notice that there's a bunch of, like, I have, like, a two-star Arcanine. That's just the first one that I got, so that's what's going to throw in there. So it's the first 150 Pokemon, with Mewtwo as its last, uh, as number 150. So, once you do that, you will uh, get the mission completion and you'll be able to collect your Mew card. Um, here are some tips on how to complete the Kanto Pokedex faster. And this is completely up to you whether or not you actually want to go about this. I did do it just because I wanted the Mew card. Um, but if you go and you know which cards that you're missing, which very typically just can be, you can click on your cards and click on this like portfolio binder. And this will show you exactly like what cards you're actually missing. So I'm missing an Arcanine, but a regular Arcanine, the three diamond one. And it shows me where to get it, Genetic Apex Pikachu pack. Uh, it shows its attacks and its related cards. So, if you want to, you can click on the ones that you know that you're missing. And remember, I have an Arcanine EX, so I don't need the Arcanine regular one. Keep that in mind. You only need one of each. You have to, like, kind of cross-reference your lists and make sure that you have um, 150 Pokemon. Uh, but this one, Zapdos EX, I don't have, but I do have a regular Zapdos. So that counts. Um, and what you can do is you can catalog which Pokemon you know that you need. And it's funny because the Pokemon I just got in my last video was a Diglett. Not that's a swoop bad. A Diglett. And I could not get Diglett for the life of me. And I opened so many Pikachu packs. It's just a one diamond Diglett. Um, so if you know what you need and you're willing to actually like buy those Pokemon cards with uh, Pokemon pack points. You'll notice them uh, when you're in this screen, in the bottom right corner, you'll notice this is where you have your pack point exchange. And if you need a specific Pokemon, you can actually use Pokemon pack points to buy that card. That way you can check that off your list. Pokemon pack points are obtained by opening Pokemon card packs. 
You get five points per pack, one per card. Um, and that is how you collect them, and you can use them to buy anything. And it's unfortunate. Can I use this? Oh, I can. So at the very bottom, you can actually use these to buy very, very rare cards. So if you don't want to use them just for the Mew, which you will inevitably get, um, then you can also just save up for these very rare ones, which is very, very cool. I just got this one, which I'm pretty excited about. A two-star Starmie EX. So that is, um, those are different ways to actually do it. You can either find which pack that card belongs to and just open like a terrorizer, or you can just certainly just buy the card and then uh, get your Mew a lot faster. Again, that's what I did. And they were cheap cards. It's not like I needed a Zapdos EX or whatever. It was just a Diglett for like 35 points. So it wasn't anything crazy. Um, and in my eyes, it was completely worth it. So that is how you obtain the exclusive secret mission Mew card. You have to complete the Kanto Pokedex. And I wish you all the best in your Kanto collection endeavors. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Pokemon TCG Pocket. I'm Skitcraft, and you're amazing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.